I'm in Jefferson City, Missouri, which is the capital city of the state of Missouri. And today's location is pretty unique. We are in the Missouri State Prison, and this is a death chamber. These are two seats that people would sit on to be executed. 39 people were killed in this room via gas. One person by lethal injection, and that was in the year of 1989. That was the last execution in this prison, the last execution in this room. This is Capitalism 2012. So in the 70s, this is where you worked. You were walking these halls? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I worked here, uh, then I transferred out to one of the prison farms and I came back. This is the Motel 6 of the prison. You know, if you come here, this is basically where you're gonna end up. Now, on paper, we had three offices working here. In reality, it was more common if you got it all by yourself. This right here, this is this just, just a regular cell block. There's nothing spectacular about this. This, this is just, just how it is, you know? There's nothing cool about coming to prison. There's nothing cool about it. It just kind of fell apart over the years. Absolutely. We closed this place in 2004 and this is it. Uh, this, here's a political statement for you. Now you come in, if you look underneath, you see the cross. And that's where they put the acid. They get the head straps, because it was, there's no way around it, man. It was a horrible death. I talked to the guy that did a lot of the gases. He said, he would tell him, he said, we hear the boom. He said, take as deep as you can. I'm glad they don't use gas. There's, there's no, and then the gas is no way to go. It's a horrible way. I'm glad, do away with the gas chamber. Uh, you're gonna execute them, that's great. I'm, I'm all for that. Not, 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 not gas. It's just, that's just, it's just, it's just too, it's too vile, you know. So after someone was killed in here, you've got a, a chamber full of gas. How do you get the gas out? You throw this lever up. This, this is the one that this drops, the, this drops the cyanide in the acid. The ex, you, okay, you, you carry out the, you carry out the sentence. You pull this, you open this, that opens the vent. You take executions real serious. You bring them, you put them on what's called death watch. They come down here and uh, you, you bend them backwards to accommodate them. They can see the preacher down here, the priest if they so desire. You got the phone right on the wall, just like the movies in case there's a, there's a, a last minute stay, the phone ring. So what are your thoughts on the death penalty? You know, it's the thing about the death penalty there, there's no way to cut it because you're killing someone, and we got to we got to it's, it's human nature for, for for mercy and compassion. We we have that, but you have to realize there's also a human capacity for just absolute meanness and violence. Our interview with Bill is over, and I count myself lucky because I'm getting to leave this place on my own steam. Soon I'll be on stage here in Jefferson City, Missouri. Earlier today. I was at the Jefferson County Prison, and I sat in both seats in their gas chamber. And uh, the man who was showing me uh, the prison was a guard there for many decades and had seen a lot come and go. He was urgently and staunchly pro-death penalty. I am urgently and staunchly against the death penalty. And so um, I'm sure he and I can see each other's point of view, but it seems to me that you cannot say we're the exceptional country in the world and we kill people and sometimes we get it wrong and it doesn't seem to bother Rick Perry uh, one damn bit.